Hey guys, this is me Rachit Jain and today I was just solving an OOPS interview question. Basically, I was not solving some question but I was playing around with some OOPS concepts and I encountered a problem and I was amazed to see the results and today I will be sharing that with you. So welcome to yet another video and I think this problem will be the most trickiest OOPS interview question and let me know in comments how you feel about it. So first things first, I will quickly show what the problem is about. So let's say you are working on some C++ project. There is some class social website which is having private protected public access specifiers. There is some data over here. I'm not implementing that right now. But then let's say you also have a class Facebook which is derived from social website. And let's say this is some private project that you're working on and these situations are completely hypothetical. And I'm just uh, taking this example to highlight my point. So. The problem here is, or the challenge over here is, this Facebook class is accepting password in the constructor and it's storing that value in the private data member. As you can see, it's in private. And there's a secret function that just prints this value that the Facebook password is every password and it's risky but it's fine to print it here as it's a private function thinking that the objects of this class Facebook cannot actually call this which is true because it's private but what if I tell you you can and this is the video about that and I am completely astonished to see the results I do think it's not right but yeah it's happening and we will and within two minutes you will know how so if in the main function you will see I'm generating an object with the name f thanks I know I'm really great at naming variables and then I pass uh, and I just send this password in the constructor um, and then I try calling f.secret which should fail but let's see it's working and there it is it says void Facebook secret is private so you cannot actually call that and you might think that yeah it's fine this class looks fine everything is good and our password will be really you know a secret and you cannot call that secret function but that's not true so I will not change this class like I will not change anything over here I will not make this public or anything but still I will be able to call this function secret for this object f let's have a look how we can do that so this is same example over here let's dive into it so we have class social website over here and then I just added a virtual function I'm not doing anything over here I just add a public virtual function with the name secret same signatures void and it's virtual and now what I do is for the same Facebook object that I had over here F and there is my password I created a pointer to social website and Facebook derives from social website and this pointer is now pointing to this object F and now I just simply call pointer arrow secret and what this will do let's have a look so if I run this now secret was private but now it prints it so now my Facebook F objects secret function is invoked and the Facebook password is this it's risky but it's fine to print it here as it's a private function now this statement is completely a joke to you I'm actually astonished to see this result but yeah this is functioning and um, this problem is beautifully capturing a lot of OOPS concepts which are asked in interview questions like virtual functions, V tables, how they work, how access is decided when you are dealing with uh, pointers of base class which are pointing to objects of some derived classes and all those things. So I hope you like this video and yeah it will take you two minutes to digest this. I would recommend you please watch this again. Uh, to see the source code and try this on your own machines you can check out the description down below and to if you want more such videos uh, just comment it down uh, and I will I will see to it that I will cover most of the questions that you have and I will try to make more videos related to the topics that you will shout out in the comments below if you want me to start with an entirely new lecture series specifically based on OOPS programming concepts, object oriented programming and its related interview questions. Uh, I hope this video like uh, this video will get at least 300 likes 
and then I will definitely start out a lecture series completely de dedicated to this. I hope this will be helpful for you. Uh, it's a quick revision also if you forgot about a lot of concepts. It will remind you that yeah, virtual functions are not that easy and you might have to read it out a little bit more for your interviews. So I hope you like this video. All the best. Happy coding. Bye bye. I will see you in the next video soon.